Feskermaes Falche. Good afternoon and welcome. Welcome to this video lesson. It's nice to see you today. Today we have a fan request, smells and tastes in Gaelic. I'm really glad this was suggested, because to be honest, I might not have thought to do a lesson on this. So, moran tang, moran tang. <laughs> smells and tastes in Gaelic. These may not seem like the biggest, most important thing to learn, but they can add a lot of expression to your Gaelic, add a lot of character, and help you sound more like a human, help you sound more like you, to be quite honest. <laughs> and also we get some really useful little phrases out of these, these smells and taste words here that we can use in everyday life. Gleva. So let's get started. By the way, if you hear some strange sounds in the background beyond the roosters, you know, besides them. It's probably hunters. It's hunting season right now. So it's okay. Everything's fine. Just you might hear that in the background. All right. So to talk about smells and tastes in Gaelic, we need two new words. Fálag and blas. Let's start with fálag. Fálag means a smell or a scent. I believe it can be used for perfume as well. I'm not 100% sure, but reasonably sure. <laughs> but certainly for scent or smell. Yeah, leva. And this is the thing, a smell, a scent. Yeah. Blas means a taste. A taste. Blas. Blas also means accent. So it's the taste of your language that you're using. Or it's the flavor of your language. Blas. Blas. So when talking about accents in Gaelic, we use the word blas. Yeah. That's already kind of nice, isn't it? It's a, I would say it's a little poetic, which is a very good thing in Gaelic. Very good. It means that you are really in line with the, the Gallic mindset. Gallic is naturally quite poetic. Absolutely. So if your Gallic is poetic, you're definitely on the right track. Okay. So, Falag agus blas. We can use these just like they are. So let's see. Um, Falag. Well, let's describe a smell. Falug ma. Ma. A good smell, a good scent. What about the opposite, like an awful, a horrible smell? Falug grot. Falug grot. Or falug uavasoch, if you want to be a bit stronger. Like, oh, absolutely horrible. <laughs> falug ma. Falug grot. What else could we do? Falug, um, a strong smell. Falug, lacher. <laughs> Falug, lacher. Lacher, grot, awful or rotten. Ma is good. Mm -hmm. So already we can use falug. Falug ma. And you can use that in everyday conversation and situations, you know. You have to kind of act things out a bit, right? You have to have action. Mmm, fala kama. But if you don't like it, mmm, fala grot. <laughs> Ugh, fala grot. So we can already use them like this. What if we want to say um, more than just it's a good smell, it's a bad smell? What if we want to say something smells like something else? Um, uh, let's see. Let's go with this one. Falug. Falug. Ual. Falug ual. What could this mean? Smell. Ual means of apple. Mm -hmm. Falag ual. 
the smell of apple. Yeah, apple smell. <laughs> and, and, it's, and it's interesting. In English, we could say it smells like apple or it has apple smell. Apple smell, maybe that's like a, a bit odd, but it smells like apple. In English, it smells like something. But in Gaelic, we don't say that. We say the smell of apple is on something. So let's do that. Let's pretend that I have some, some apple tea here. I don't, but let's pretend. So we could say um, the tea smells like apple or there is an apple smell on the tea. Ha falag ual. So there is an the smell of apple er an tea. Okay, letting giving the lesson some space here. <laughs> There's not a falag ual er in lesson unless it's a an apple grove, an apple forest lesson. Maybe it would have falag ual, but I don't want to get too close to find out. No. <laughs> Anywho, ed and t. Ed Ed and T. That A is a little little wonky. There we go. So our main thing to know here is we're gonna use ed. On. Ed. In Gallic a smell is on something. There are also some other um, phrases we could use with phylog, like there's a smell coming off of something, or I can smell something. Those would use some different words, it would not necessarily ed, but this is a good place to start. Yeah, a smell being on something. A phylog ma ed and tea. Or, in English, the tea smells good. In English, smelling is, it's, a, it's an action, right? It's a verb. This smells good. But in Gaelic, we would say, there is a good smell on it. So we could say, um, that smells good. Ha falag ma er shin. Ha falag ma er shin. Remember our ed, on, smells are on things in Gaelic, at least in this phrase, yeah. Ha falag ma er shin. Um, what can we say? The flowers smell good. It's not really flower time here. <laughs> it's quite cold and we're having frost, but in springtime. Uh, ha falag ma er na flurichen. Yeah, nice, just like that. On the flowers. Ha falag ma ed ne flurichen. Oh ha, what if they don't smell good? Well, we could say ha falag grot ed ne flurichen. Oh, there's an awful smell on them. Or we could say, ugh, chaniel, chaniel. <laughs> nice. And we could also, let's see, we could talk about smells in the past, you know, maybe remembering a childhood place or um, an old house. Maybe there was a garden there. The flowers did smell great, you know. The roses smelled great, something like that. Pretty easy. Va, past. Va falag ma ed neflurichen. Nice. And the flowers will smell nice. They'll smell lovely come spring. B. B falag ma ed neflurichen. Nice. Yeah. So we can change this to talk about when we're talking about right now or in the past, in the future. And we can also use negatives, you know. There's not a good smell on those. <laughs> uh -uh. No, <laughs> no. Let's see. Falag ual, that's a good one. 
Um, what else could we do? Maybe having some tea and you can smell lemon or cake. Ooh, like a lemon cake or lemon bars. Mm. Ooh, those smell lemony. They smell like lemon. In Gaelic, we'd say, ha fa limach er a hech on the cake, for example. Limach. fa limach. So limach, we don't change the word to mean of that. The spelling doesn't change. So this means actually of lemon here. Mm, nice. So with words like these, of a thing, like of chocolate, of apple, of lemon, you'll learn as you go. You'll learn how they change. Yeah, that's what my recommendation. Just learn them as you go, word by word. You'll learn them, in my opinion, much better and more deeply than trying to, you know, remember all the possibilities and then sort this word into the right category and then apply it, there's a lot of room for making mistakes, and most of the time people do. <laughs> if you're someone who can do that, gleva, super brain. <laughs> for me, I'm not someone like that. So my recommendation is to learn these of forms, these genitives, as you go, word by word, as, as you need them. Gleva. Okay, this looks pretty good for falug. And remember our important thing to know, the important difference between English and Gaelic here. In Gaelic, smells are on something. Whereas in English, we can use smell as a verb. This smells good, or it smells like apple, right? But in Gaelic, we'd say the smell of apple or the scent of apple is on the thing. Yeah. Cleva. All right, let's come down to blas. Let's work with blas here. Blas. Well, blas works exactly the same as falug. So we could say blasma. A oh, good taste. Blasma. Blas. Uh, blas grot. Ugh. <laughs> An awful taste. Oh. Um, a strong taste. Blas lacher. Ooh. Has a strong taste. Um, blas ual. We could do that. The taste of apple. Blas limach, the taste of lemon. Um, yeah, let's bring those down here. Yeah. Nice. Yep. Okay. So already we can use blas, like, ooh, blas ma, blas grot. Blas lacher, right? a strong taste. Whoa. And how do we say that something has a taste? Like this tastes good. In English, we would use it as an action, right? As a verb. This tastes good. Yeah, yeah. Or I taste, I taste apple or that kind of thing. But it's not that way in Gaelic. Just like phallic, just like smells, tastes are on things in Gaelic. So, for example, ha blas ma, oh, what could we, there's a good taste, something, what tastes good? Ah, uh, briskachin, yeah, ha blas ma, ed, na, briskachin, nice, ed, it's our keyword here, ed, on the cookies or biscuits or however you want to call them. Ha blas ma ed na briskachin. And for, just because it's one of my lessons, let's have a picture here, chocolate chip cookie. Nice, briskachin. Oh, it's multiple, we need, <laughs> we need more than one cookie. There we go. <laughs> Briskachin. Ha blas ma er na briskachin. What if they don't taste good? Like, oh, the cookies don't taste good. 
Chaniel. Chaniel plasma ed na briskachin. Oh, Chaniel, Chaniel. Ha blas lacher ed na briskachin. They have a strong taste. Ha blas ual ed na briskachin. The cookies taste, <laughs> they taste like apple. They have an apple taste or an apple flavor. This is how we talk about flavors in Gaelic. So, uh, ooh, like chocolate flavored. Blas chocolate of chocolate. I think we need our, our wee accent mark here, our strach. There we go. Ha blas chocolate, the taste of chocolate or the flavor of chocolate, chocolate flavor. Ha blas chocolate er na briskachin. The cookies taste chocolatey. <laughs> they taste like chocolate. Mmm. Ha blas chocolate er na brownies. Mmm, the brownies taste chocolatey. Gleva. <laughs> Chocolate. Ah, so when you talk about chocolate flavored, apple flavored, lemon flavored, blas limach, lemon flavored, blas ual, apple flavored, blas chocolate, chocolate flavored, etc. So that's that's a nice uh, that's a nice little phrase to have. Yeah. Mm. Mm. I like things that are chocolate flavored, for example. I like Drinks that are chocolate flavored. Gleva. All right. And just like up here, we can use these in the past. Va. Va blasma ed nebriskachin. Va. There was. Or there will be. Be blasma ed nebriskachin. <laughs> they, will, they will taste great. Yeah, they're, maybe they're just going in the oven. Oh, be blasma and a briskach. Oh, be. Let's see, what else could we do? Ha blasma er and tea. Okay. Ha blasma ershin. <laughs> that tastes good. Oh, ha blasma ershin. Mm. Ha blasma <laughs> er and fluidichen. <laughs> if you eat flowers. <laughs> Some actually are edible and very delicious in a salad. Yeah, that works too. Um, mm, what else could we do? Um, whiskey. Let's do whiskey. You know, the whiskey tastes good. Ha blasma ed anushka vea. Yeah. Ed, Ed, remember, on, tastes and smells are on things in Gaelic. Ha blas ma ed an ushkabea. Yeah, just like that. Or maybe you, someone gave you a dram and, ugh, the whiskey tastes awful. Oh, ha blas grot ed an ushkabea. Or, chaniel, chaniel blas ma. Ernushkavea, chaniel, chaniel. Ha blas lacher ernushkavea. Oh, it has a strong taste. Ooh, has a strong taste like an Ardbeg or a Lafroig, maybe. Ha blas chocolate ernushkavea. Maybe that's one of the tasting notes, you know, hints of chocolate. Oh, ha blas chocolate ernushkavea. If that's your thing. <laughs> Gleva. Nice. So here are some excellent examples for us about how to use the words for uh, smells and tastes. Falug agas blas. Remember, they're on things in Gaelic. And there are some additional phrases to use with falug. So keep an, uh, keep an eye out and maybe an ear as well. Yeah, you'll come across little phrases that are quite nice to use. And using these in this way, it's totally fine to say, oh, ha, ha, e, ma, ha, and ti, ma, ha, and ti, grot, ha, and ti, lacher, you know, no problem. But also, if you are comfortable with and um, 
you know, willing to use hafalig ma ed and ti. That's, that's definitely native speaker level. Yeah, that's really useful to have in your, in your Gallic toolkit. Gleva. So play around with these, have fun with them. Maybe focus on just one to really get the pattern deep in your mind. Maybe go for falagma and blasma. A good smell, a good taste, and then use ha and chanil, right? Ha falagma and shin, ha blasma and shin, or chanil falagma and shin. Chanil blasma and shin. Just to get used to it. Pick, pick a couple of them that you like and just Play with them. Play with them, yeah. Weave them into your Gaelic so that they become more natural. All right. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'll see you in another video. Gleva.